Our next question is for Christine. Um, thank you. <laughs> what are your thoughts on putting oxygen in products, and we're seeing it more widely used? What are your thoughts on why it's being so widely used? <laughs> you have to get you have to get these guys under control. Well, first and foremost, I am going to disagree with some of the gentlemen here on the panel with respect to alpha hydroxy acids, because I um, implore you to come up and examine my skin. I've been using them for thirty years. Now, when it comes to glycolic acid, it comes to lactic acid, and then I'll answer your question. We're Are doing buddy. Am I everybody? I'm everybody. But I say I'm, everybody. Well, no, I don't listen to anybody. Not to everybody. I want everybody. No everybody. She gets everybody. I always everybody. everybody. Anyway, I don't want any confusion because number one, alpha hydroxies, and there's been a zillion tests that load up the Smithsonian. With respect to lactic and glycolic, that literally help to strengthen the epidermal and dermal junction. Now you all know what that is, don't you? Yes. It also helps to release lamellar bodies. Does everybody know what a lamellar body is? Christine. <laughs> yes, I know. Does anybody know? I am going to answer the no. question. That I'd is... like you to answer the oxygen. Oh, this question. is going to lead into the oxygen. Immediately? Body. Yes, immediately. All right. <laughs> anyway, lamellar bodies, what they do is they disperse and they create hydration. So there are many benefits, and I disagree strongly. Now, with respect to the oxygen, <laughs> well, everybody knows that I'm just, you know, a troublemaker. Uh, with respect to the oxygen, the oxygen is necessary. I didn't believe in it for many, many years. But there's been new technologically uh, advanced ingredients that literally come in and connect with the skin and help the cells to rebuild because the cells can become hypotic. Do you know what that means? <coughs> Lack of oxygen within the cells. And so with, with the oxygen treatments, this lends to a healthier cellular body. And we have 19,500,000 cells per square inch on our skin, so do the math. Just make a little square, and you'll find that these cells are necessary, especially when you're dealing with injured cells. And in fact, there is a professor at uh, one of the large hospitals in New York, I can't recall the hospital right off, but her uh, observation with the oxygen is that the oxygen literally will become one of the best anti-aging ingredients to be used for the future. So, with that said, I still disagree with. <laughs> 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 